Greetings out there, YouTube land. We'll be having a great day from the planet Earth. This is what it's all about, man. Right here. This guy met D, right? I was just watching it. I got a couple of these guys, uh, ones on there. They're the last reformation. I went down to, uh, Windsor, a city where Windsor on Fire is. They were, they were showing one of them. I figured, you know, I went down there to see it, right? And I, I laughed because all I needed was the first minute of it to see. And I, okay, yeah, God reminded me, get back on the job and start laying hands again. You know, but I got two of them in my, uh, Christian movies and, and I, you know, they're pretty good. They're, they're nice guys. He's in Denmark. Uh, I think this, I believe it's from Denmark. Forgive me for an error there. You know, he travels around so many countries there, right? And uh, the guy is really nice, you know. You can see his zeal, right? But, I mean, you would not believe the things that have been happening, right? You know, he turns around. And I tell you, you said you could do as I do, and it was no joke, man. People are going around all over the planet laying hands in the mighty name of Jesus, and people are getting healed right now as I'm talking to you. Every day people are getting healed. All kinds of groups are out there standing up tall for the Lord, and people are getting healed. It's a matter of faith, brothers and sisters. Matter of faith, it's amazing what the Lord could do. The Jesus shop, this is what it's all about, man. We're not trying to reach people. I, I do that on the site of going to the moon, and I write for Jesus there, and, and it's changing people's lives, knowing they're real, knowing they can actually talk to somebody that was sick before, and now they're healed, and it gives them hope. That's what it's all about, hope. This is about a personal relationship and faith, man. you got to have faith and a per personal relationship, man. The book is great. It, it's got to tell you everything, but it's also an introduction to Jesus, the real one. Not the ones people tell you about, they don't even know him, man. But there's some out there that don't even know him, that they don't get the love of Jesus in hearts. I know that many of you do. I mean, it seems like this will inspire us and give us hope. Here's a man who was an Iranian Muslim and now is a child of God. That's why I keep telling you, Revelation 7 9, man, we got brothers and sisters all over the planet, more coming every day, a number no man can count, right? If anything happens to that man, he knows him and his family, they're there with Jesus, man. Isn't that the greatest news in the world, man? I put this up there in my great messages so you guys can take a look at it if you want, but it, it's an awesome thing, you know. It's powerful testimony how, how a person meets Jesus. I'm going to put it in my testimonies too, right? If you got a great testimony of your story, put it up, man. Share it. Sing your song, little sparrow. Sing your song for God, man. Your little story can save somebody's life, man. They can be walking in your shoes, and then they, and they hear that, and they just, you know, they, they hear how Jesus can offer you hope, and I can turn your life around, and they can call on Jesus too. That's the whole reason I say Sing your song, little sparrows. Sing your song for God, because we're God's little sparrows. Sing your song for Jesus, please. Sing your song for God and change somebody's life. Thank you. Bye bye.